hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today if you look behind me you can see my potted table here is a bit of a mess because today i've just been doing a lot of different um housekeeping things with my plants and i have not been videotaped any of it in quite a long time as everyone knows with everything that's currently going on i just have not been feeling in a place to film and do videos so today i was just like you know what let me come on here and um show them what i'm doing excuse me it is very hot excuse my sweating um it's like 90 something degrees up here today and i didn't want the sound of the fan to be in the um in the video but if i get too hot i'm just gonna have to turn it on and i hope it won't be too distracting but if i have to turn it on i'll let you know so you'll know if you hear that sound so as i was saying um i haven't been up to the videos but today i was just like you know feeling the mood feeling the vibe like let's do it so to jump right in as you can see in front of me we have several um different cuttings of agla onima and this is the Silver Bay variety. Agla Onima are also commonly known as Chinese evergreen plants. So if you have seen or haven't seen, I'll link um, the little eye or pop out about the video that I did on a huge, like over five foot um, Chinese evergreen plant that I repotted and propagated. Um, just quick overview, because I mean, you can go watch the video, I go more in depth. My father actually got the plant from somebody who, um, it was originally their mother's and they became too elderly to care for it. Fast forward, my dad snagged it and gave it to me. So it was really huge. I gave my dad a piece, I gave a big piece, I gave my mom um, two big pieces. I have another big piece that I had in the soil. And then also I did give some away too. So this is what I have um, left in the house. And, um, I'm looking over there because that's another piece from a different plant, but I might do something with that. So, yeah, that's how I got this. So, as you can see, these are in various stages of propagation. I'm going to actually be putting these into LECA, hopefully, um, depending on how those pots work. I'm going to show you those. I should have got a different size, but it was my first time using them. So, anyway, I'm getting... All right, everyone, I'm back. I had to turn the fan on. It's just too hot. I'm melting um hopefully i turned it on low so i hope it doesn't make too much noise or anything but it's on and i got me some cold water because i am very hot okay so as i was saying this um one this one's already in leka when i first started leka i didn't know i still won't say i know what i'm doing but i have a little bit of a better grasp i think but I put this into Lekka and I had these jars. I keep glass jars, you know, from uh, pickles and pasta sauce, whatever. I try to keep them and I use them for my plants. So this does not have any hole or anything drilled in it. I just filled it up with the Lekka. And if you look right there, you can see it has some really nice, um, long, healthy roots on there. This has been in Lekka for at least three months. I'll go back and check the date of that other video and then that'll give me a better idea of the exact time. I need to keep better track because people always ask how long, at least three months. Um, you know, definitely during the whole quarantine time, so maybe even a bit more. Um, but as you can see, this new leaf right here is coming in yellow. This is due to, I believe, the nutrition deficiency. I don't have like the um, liquid nutrients that you put in here. I just had like some other little plant food that I thought I could just put a couple drops in there. But this is the second one that I've had in LECA that put out um, a new yellow leaf. So I'm going to go online and find um, the hydroponics, I believe it's called Solutions. It's three separate bottles. I'll put a picture up somewhere. And um, it's basically like different nutrients based upon the different type of plant. So I'm going to be up here sweating. So, um, yeah, that's what I think that is. So. That's why this is yellow. I was gonna take it off, but I wanted to show it to you so you could see, you know, what actually can happen. So I just have this in this jar. I believe I'm gonna leave this one in here, but I just wanted you to see an example of how I've done hydroponics thus far, semi-hydroponics thus far with the Leka, and it has been very successful um, because I've had people tell me, 
um, on Instagram and things like that, which if you're not following me there, please do. I'll link it for you. Um, my Instagram is green thumbish, um, just like it is here. And I post on there every day, but I've had people say like, they feel like it'd be too expensive to get into Lekka because you have all the different containers and some of them can be a little pricey, especially if you're trying to transition all of your plants. Now, all of my plants are not in Lekka. Um, this, these are the only things that I do have in Lekka right now. And I have a, um, a Burl Marks cutting over there that has some really nice, strong, thick roots that um, I've been propagating in water for a couple of months. I was thinking about putting that into Lekka, but everything else is in soil. I haven't made a decision to fully transfer everything over to Lekka because, um, mm, well, one, that would require, you know, a big investment into the actual Lekka because I have over 120 plants, I think. I've gotten rid of a couple struggle ones, so I'll have to recount. But you can tell just from that, like that would be a lot. And then also, I don't feel like I know um a whole lot about Lekka enough so to put like all of my plants <laughs> into it oh and I did do I'll show it uh I guess I can show it to you I took it out because I cleaned all of the Lekka and sanitized it I had um a cutting of my um uh, monstera that I had put into Lekka and two of the little baby sprouts on it they didn't make it, but the main leaf is doing really well. And I just took it out and had some nice long roots. So I'll show you that um, maybe at the end or another one. But in this video, I want to focus on the Chinese evergreen. So there's this one. And the shininess on these leaves, I don't know if, um, if it's picking up, but I always get questions about that too. I don't know why these are so shiny, say in comparison to this one or this one, um, I'll zoom in, or this one here. The only thing that I can um, guess is that this one sits in the kitchen um, on my, I'll post a picture for you, on my side uh, counter next to the stove. So my guess would be, you know, all the humidity and this, this and that from, um, from cooking is like coated the leaves or affected the leaves. I don't know, but it's really shiny and pretty. They almost kind of look fake. But that's why I don't wipe this down because somebody asked me if I use leaf shine or if, you know, I wipe this down with something and I don't. Um, it's, I think it's literally just because of the position that it is in the kitchen. All right, so that's that. So I have right here on my messy table. This is, and before I get asked, this pot I don't use to cook food. This pot is specifically for plants. I mix soil in here. Um, I boiled and sanitized and cleaned this leka in here. So this pot is specifically for that purpose. So you take a look in here. You can see this is the leka that I have right now. Now a quick side note on this. When I purchased this, um, I got interested in leka. I've seen it here and there, but I got interested to really try it. Excuse me. I got interested to really try it based on an Instagram account that I follow. Her name is on Instagram is Plants and Things with the Z. Um, I'll post it for you. She does a lot with Lekka. She has a lot of informational videos. Um, she's in the process. She has over 400 plants, last count. And she is in the process of transferring all of her plants to Lekka. She wants to be completely soil free. So she's very, um, she has a lot of information. She's very knowledgeable on it. And um, so I would say to go check her out. But that's where I first got interested in it. And so when I went to Amazon, cause that's where I got this, cause nobody, I didn't see it anywhere locally. Um, I just picked the cheapest one that they had. So I think a bag <clears throat> about like this big, I don't remember the measurements, maybe like a two pound bag, probably it was $13. And um, I, it was just a random brand. To me, it smelled really bad. Like when it got wet, it was really smelly. Like right now it's not bad. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to do this, so don't copy me, but I took a little bit the smallest squirt of Dawn soap and um, washed them like that. And then I put, filled it up with hot water and I put it on the stove and let it boil and then I rinsed it. And they smell so much better. But to me, I was kind of prone off by that at first because it, I didn't like the smell. Let me start working while I'm talking here. Um, so yeah, I did not like the smell. And so I, um, I wasn't happy about that. So I asked her, and she said that hers didn't have any smell. Maybe it was a different, because of a different brand or something, but she said hers did not have a 
did not have a smell so i don't i don't know to me they stunk at first so i didn't like that but um as i cleaned them a few times and kind of like um like got it to like boiling them more um and adding the soap i think is what really helped so anyhow these i don't know where the little insert is um oh the bark chip i don't know where the little insert is for the exact name of these but these are just from amazon these are plastic and they come with this one these are i think are the medium ones i don't know if this one right here is gonna fit but we'll see um i may try to get it in there for the time being and then order some of the larger ones but it comes with like this little net pot it reminds me of the pots that um if you have orchids they usually come in like pots like this so you have this and then you have the cotton cord and then you take your cotton cord and you uh put it through i don't know why this wants to give me a hard time right now let's see pull it through like this two of the holes at the bottom and then it'll hang out like that and then this obviously you'll not obviously but i'll show you that you put the plant in the leka inside of here and then you fill the water up to about right here you want the water to hit below here because you don't want this sitting in, in water that's where the cotton cord comes in it's going to pull the water up into here and then the leka will absorb from here so it's a self-watering pot so then this drops inside of here like this and then you have that i have um, um this was a three pack i have two left because i put my um what do you call it my philodendron uh no my monstera stephalocana i think that's what it's called i'll put in the comment i mean i'll pin it somewhere on the screen i put that one in there so that's where one of them is and we'll see that cutting i rooted in water for a while and it did well and then the leaves it lost a couple leaves to yellowing so now i put it in the leka and it looks like it's going to lose one or two more leaves so we'll see it has it's only been in there a couple of days okay so i have those like that also side note if you don't want to buy like this whole thing like this you can buy these by the pack like if you have a bunch of um cash pots you know pots without drainage um and you do your measurements you can just use what you have and then just buy these and then you can buy like a you know buy a big um ball of the cotton because this is just cotton thread so if you buy that big ball of like the cotton rope then you can do it like that yourself if you have enough of these to put in i have cash pots but there's so many different sizes and i just wanted to give this a try because it's like it, it would be simpler but going forward if i move more things over and to the like i probably like measure the pots that i have and then get like a bunch of these inserts and if you think about it that would be quite easy because a lot of pots in the places where we normally shop um if you go to like a homeless tj maxx big lots so on and so forth most of those pots don't have drainage in them so so thirsty it's hot if you can find the right um uh, the right size so that when this sits in there it's suspended that's the, the whole main thing this is suspended up up to right here so this is the reservoir where the water will be um as long as you have it to have that gap then you can do it that way and also uh which one do i want to do first let's do this one and um this one is the one that is in um this one stays in my bathroom and <clears throat> it grows really well it had one yellow leaf i removed it. i guess i should have showed it to y'all but it was like a little one and i just removed it but as you can see the leaves are nice and big there's a lot of new growth and this one sits in the sink on the sink in my bathroom um and it does really well obviously from like the humidity in the shower and stuff so this one does really well i just have to clean the leaves um periodically because my kids get toothpaste all over it um but other than that so yeah, as I was saying with the um, cash pot thing, so the first thing you wanna do is put a layer of LECA in the bottom of here before you put in the plant. Oop, so just a small layer. So um, like I was saying with the cash pots, if you buy just the inserts and then do that yourself, that way you can. Um, plants and things that I was talking about, she also does that. She had her husband like seal a bunch of pots for her the drainage hole so then they all became 
cash pots so she could use them like that because she had a lot of nice pots that she didn't want to get rid of because she was transferring over to Lekka. Okay, so as you can see right here, I hope you can see that. As you can see in there, it's a layer of Lekka at the bottom. It's similar to how, um, like when you're potting with soil and you put a layer of soil at the bottom before you put the pot in, same thing. So I think I put a couple too many. I want to make sure that this left the stretches because it's all, it's all that I have. Um, I think one of the things when I first put, started playing around with the too was I was using like the, the glass jars that I had, like I said, mason jars. And I was just filling the whole, Connor, really? What are you doing? I was just filling the whole, um, the whole container up with it. And so I think I ended up having like more or less of it necessary in each container. So now I'm trying to pay attention to that. So give it a little tap before you put in any more um, so that it can adjust. I'm gonna put a little more in here to stabilize it. And as they, they'll be a little wobbly at first. I know this, hold it and tap it, but as they, um, settle in it'll become more stable because what happens um, Like if I was to pull this out of here right now, you can see that that doesn't move anymore Because the roots grasp onto the Leka like you can see right here the roots grasp onto the Leka so it won't um, <clears throat> It won't be wobbly like that forever So this one is pretty much Set I just like to adjust it around there a little bit that's so it's straight and so here you have this one so that one fit in there really nice and although these are plastic i think they're pretty i feel like they're pretty decent looking um i didn't like the look at the of them at first but one well, now that they're here they're not so bad now these like i said i got from amazon they come in three different sizes small medium large i don't know why i'm looking i know i don't have the paper anymore these are the me the mediums i believe but i feel like i will um eventually i know i'll eventually probably get some large all right so there's that one so now i have one more so i'm trying to figure out the best way to try to do this because i have this big container here which this container <laughs> i originally brought from dollar general and i just had it and i didn't really use it for anything i think i made lemonade at one time um, and then I had a to I stopped using it for food and I had a terrarium in it. So now I just use it to water propagate. So I'm gonna take these out. Now, as you can see, these are four different cuttings. And you can see all those nice, chunky, healthy roots in there. Okay, so this is gonna be tight because I for sure know. Let me think, try to think real quick. Mm -hmm -hmm. If I have something else that I can put this in. Um, with Lekka. Okay. Let me just look behind me real quick. This is too, too, um, and I think I meant to put two in there, but I don't even think two. This is for sure too small, but just for the purposes of this video, yeah, I think I could probably make it work. Okay, so I'm already, I'm saying myself that this is too small, but I want to get it into the LECA for the time being, and then today. I will order, um, I'll order some, I'll put that guy with that one. 
I'm going to order larger pieces, larger containers. All right, so let's do it. Put it in there. Let's see. Cause see, I'm in a similar position like that. Like I have a, a container behind me that has a bunch of um, it has a bunch of pots in it, but it's just kind of like um, having the right. Um, trying to position it is how I want it. Having the there goes the garbage truck. It should be going in a minute. It's early, and my daughter is sleeping in a little bit, so I wanted to hurry up and do this. So wait for them to go by. garbage truck is gone so let me move that over. this like I said I would want a bigger um, pot for this but for right now it'll do um, like I said I'm gonna order the bigger pot but for right now this is good so here is um, this one and you can see that they're like fanned out like that if you're not familiar with Chinese evergreen their stems, which you can see right here, um, they don't grow straight up. They grow like curved. They will, sometimes they can like almost even kind of like loop over. So these are not going to stri stand straight up. They're going to fan out. So as you saw while I was filling it up, I was holding them in place um, to position them so that they wouldn't like topple over or whatever. So. There's that one, let me move my water. Put this one right here. Try to move this other stuff out of the way. So this one now I can empty out and I can just use something else. So, all right, lastly here, I'm going to put these in selected because I don't want to put them back in to water. You can see I took one from that larger bundle and then these have some really nice roots too. All of these, and I'll check back again for um, my numbers, all of these have been in LECA for minimally three to four months, um, possibly even longer. And when I was taking this one out to clean the LECA, I found like this little bulb that has a new baby leaf coming. So, oh, my daughter is up. Okay, let me hurry up and finish this thing. So this would be a good way. It's good that I didn't have enough room because I'll show you what I do with just any glass jar um, that I have at home. So again, I take my LECA, and that's a good thing about it, if it falls or whatever, rolls off the table, it's not a big mess. Just pick it up. My kids like to help, so I usually will have them pick it up for me. Thank you, mama. All right, so you wanna get same thing, put a layer at the bottom. The only thing that's kind of different with the mason jars, I like to check to see how high up the plant is gonna be. So you see that right here. Um, so these are gonna sit up like that, which that's fine. But I'm gonna put that little bulb part in after I put some more like it in here. But I don't want it to be below um, everything else like below where it needs to be. So go ahead and you just add handfuls of this to the jar. Put a couple of taps so that it can settle. And then I'm gonna add this one, this little bud. And I think that's so cool, look at that. It's just like a single leaf. And you can see it has roots. 
I had pieces like this when I repotted. Um, again, go check out that other video. I had pieces like that, or like this when I repotted that plant, and I just stuck them down into the dirt, and they did sprout for me. All right, I'm rushing now, so I'm just <laughs> dropping everything everywhere. But just continue to go around and fill it up. This one I'm okay with filling up because this is a smaller size jar. Um, but I had um, my Monstera in like a huge jar and it had took so much luck of. All right, now the recycle truck is here. <laughs> okay. Um, So now we have this one. So these are what the ones that I put in um, the glass jars look like. Pretty much all of them because like I said, I like to use what I have and I like to reuse um, glass jars if I can versus just throwing them out. So that's how this one looks. Now for this one, I'll probably redo it because you see right here, I'm gonna redo it off camera, but you see how you can see the stem right here against the glass? You want them to be surrounded by the LECA. So I need to redo these and make sure that I get LECA on this side so that the stem is not exposed like that. And then finally, I'm gonna add the water. So for these, you're just gonna put, I would say an inch of water like this under here, just make sure it's enough water so that the core, the cotton cord is in there, but that is not touching this, the net pot inside. And when you're putting it into a mason jar, I usually just put about an inch, like an inch and a half of water at the bottom and I just let it go. And then when I notice that the water has, you know, gone down, then I'll add some more. And then ever so often, sometimes you'll see like white, like a film or whatever, then I'll take the plant like this and then I'll take um, like warm water, not hot, but like warmer water. And I just let the water um, fill up like that. And I put my hand over the top so the leg doesn't fall out. And I just keep doing that to flush it out. And that usually does fine. Some people put holes in so that they can just run the water through and it'll run out the hole. If you do put a hole in, put it up higher like this so that you still have a space in where to have your water. Um, but I don't have that drill, so I didn't do it. I just do it simply like this. Now, if, they're, if they get really yucky, which sometimes they can, I'll just um, dump the leka off and then pull off the plant. You'll notice you don't want to damage your plant. Don't just go and try to pull it out. You won't be able to. Like, I'm pulling. I'm, I'm pulling right here. You can see that, and it's not coming out. You want to turn it over like this and shake some of the leka off first, and then you'll know when it's loose enough and you can get it out because the leka, the roots grab onto the leka, so you don't want to damage it. So that is all for what I have for you today. I hope um, that was interesting and informative for you. Like I said, I'm not an expert in LECA yet, um, but I do find it very interesting and I like it as an alternative medium to um, soil. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section if you've used LECA, you currently have any plants in LECA, um, <clears throat> yeah, what do you think of it? Would you transfer all of your plants to LECA? Like, I don't know. Um, like I said, I don't know enough about it yet, but that just seems like that would be a lot. Like once it's done, I'm sure it would be a breeze just changing out water. But yeah, the process of actually doing it, I don't know. So again, thanks for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.